Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome back to a new episode of the Every Day is a New Day show. My name is Kim O'Neill. So happy to be here with you. We are going to be having a musical guest on today. I'm very excited to bring him to the show. We're going to be talking about the Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy for Kids. Such a fun topic. Their songs, everything. You're going to love it. But before we get into that, let's take a moment to shake off yesterday. Releasing anything that may be weighing you down, whatever it was, whatever it was, whatever's weighing on your mind, on your heart, whatever it is, you can literally move your body, shift into a new thought, bring your focus back into the present moment for your own sake, your own benefit, your own well-being. Take a breath in with that. What a gift that is, right? Did you do that with me? Ooh. It's such a good feeling. <laughs> such a good feeling. Okay. I hope you took a moment to do that with me, shaking off yesterday. Today is really your day. I'm going to go ahead and now I want to share a quote with you today that's also about music. Music acts like a magic key to which the most tightly closed hearts open. And that is from Maria von Trapp. You may be familiar with that name from The Sound of Music, but Maria von Trapp was a real person. I'm going to read that again. Music acts like a magic key to which the most tightly closed heart opens. <sighs> Isn't that true? It's very true. Music can, can bring us to new depths of all sorts of things, help us heal, open up to healing when, uh, you know, things, other aspects of the world may be getting in the way, clouding our ability to see things in a new light. Music's amazing, and I love that we're going to be able to talk about that today. So I'm going to share a little bit about today's guest, and then we're going to bring him up on screen. So today's guest is, I'm going to start with a former college classmate. Uh, Michael De La Torre, a.k.a. Mike Dangerously, is the co-founder of the Jelly of the Month Club, a family band that inspires, educates, and entertains kids and adults of all ages. The Jelly of the Month Club focuses on introducing music to developing young minds through using diverse musical instrumentation, humorous stories, educational messages, and universal values in their original compositions. And it was just in 2020 that they developed the Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy, also known as JMA, which is an online cartoon music course that teaches kids about music through fun, interactive play-along, guitar hero style cartoons, and catchy sing-alongs. Mike is also one of the main musical forces behind several Southern California acts today. He has written and produced everything from country and gangster rap to polka, big band, swing, and heavy metal. His music has been featured on FM and XM stations nationwide and can be seen performed live regularly. His songs have also been licensed for use by MTV, Fox, TLC, CMT, Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, all of that. And he is also the front man for bands Mike Dangerously and the Royal We. And I'm going to end it there because he has so much to share. With that said, welcome to the show, Michael. Hi there, Kim. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Wow. Just hearing that makes me so exhausted. <laughs> been yeah. busy. You have been busy. I know. I had, I had to pace myself even in wording all of it. Yeah. Um, you're doing a lot. You've been, it's, and it's really, really inspiring to see how committed you are to um, the music. And I love just even bringing music to kids, which is what we're going to talk all about today. Uh, I, I want to start with, you know, how did, how did music show up in your life as a kid? You know, uh, I can really pinpoint it to, a couple of experiences, uh, one of many of which were, were, of course, like the classic Disney stuff, you know, um, you know, anything, uh, you know, Aladdin, uh, Jungle Book, Aristocats, a lot of that stuff, um, of course, was just a, a blast for me and, and uh, was always singing those songs. But um, but but also, you know, I, I remember a performer that came to my school in like second grade, I think, when I was still over at St. Pius. And, uh, and, and um, he came in with like an acoustic guitar and, and got everybody kind of singing together. And it was just, it was kind of a, a, a pretty, you know, I was like, this, this dude's like magical. He, he just tamed a room full of kids. We're all, we're going bonkers one second. And then the next second we're like, what's this guy doing? You know, he's singing a song of some, it was like a, a really cool kind of silly song about a, a, a bull getting loose in Trinidad and running into a, a shopping cart 
that was that lady was pushing and all the groceries go flying everywhere and, and so you know this seeing that that type of effect it had on on all of us and and then you know like i said all those all those great catchy disney songs back in the day just fell in love <laughs> so it sounds like really inspired you and and uh brought light and color to your life is what i mean <clears throat> oh absolutely absolutely yeah i I see that in the way you perform. That is what you bring to audiences. Um, I, you know, I've, see, I've seen, seen clips of when you were doing bands years ago to what you've been doing today. And of course, now you have Jelly of the Month Club doing the cartoon, which I think is so freaking, um, <laughs> God, so creative. Did you, you know, you've been doing music for all these years now. How many years has it been that you've been Oh, gosh. Um <clears throat> You know, playing in bands since high school. Not that the ones back then were <laughs> any good, but but uh, you know, uh, as soon as I started learning some of the software in college, learning how to record myself, I just kind of fell in love with the whole process, and not just writing, but being able to get it down and get it out, and complete you know, complete the idea. So you know, a lot a lot of years, um, probably like twenty years or so now. Okay, I wasn't sure if I should put a number to it. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't know. I'm... <laughs> but, hey, it, it's all good. What's beautiful about that is we all start somewhere. We all start somewhere. And um, I just, I, I think that's really worth noting because a lot of people can look at one person who's been doing something for 20 plus years and think, oh, I'm not as good as them. They've been doing it for 20 plus years though. Oh, that's, yeah. Right? That's oh, the difference. Yeah. <clears throat> and once, you know, Honestly, you know, when I started playing guitar, so I'm going to be 40 this year. Uh, I started playing guitar around 15, let's call it. So, uh, carry the two. I mean, that's a, it's just 20, yeah, 25 years of, of kind of grinding it out, grinding it out. And, and I'll tell you, when you get to that much time invested into something in particular, as I'm sure you know, you realize you're, you're ever the student. You're always learning. You're 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 always going to be uh, improving, um, because you know you see what it takes to get to a certain point, and then and then you're just all the more inspired by all the other great artists out there because you're like, wow, that's that's so creative. I want it makes me want to be more creative. You know. Yeah, it. I will completely agree. I believe that um, <clears throat> the more you learn, the more you realize you're a perpetual student, as long as you choose to be that way. Right? You can yeah, also choose yeah. not to be. Sure. Um, sure. Good point. Yeah. And, and um, there's a quote. What was the quote that just came to mind? The, the quote about um, something about the more that we learn, we realize how much we don't know. Oh, and man. so, so I love that. Very, yeah, very humbling. So, okay. So let's talk a little bit more about this Jelly of the Month Club Music <laughs> Academy. Did you ever imagine? Well, okay. So first off, did you, cause first you're a band and then you mm -hmm. created this music Academy. Did you ever imagine that you'd be singing songs for kids? No, not, in a, I mean, you know, it, the, the, how it came to be was in, in a band I played in for a lot of years called Zen Robbie. We covered, uh, I want to be like you from J Disney's the jungle book, okay, uh, okay. by my all time favorite artist, Louis Primo. And, some of the guys from different bands that were the other founders of Jelly of the Month Club, they heard the song because we were playing on each other's records and whatnot. And they were like, we all have kids. We should all be doing this sort of thing. Do you want to come and, and be one of the singers and, and produce, you know, the record and kind of see where ha see what happens? <clears throat> Excuse me. We I thought we were just going to be a really hip dad band and it was going to be like a, you know, a fun, a fun, uh, side project while i was able to go and perform night uh, you know night shows which were majority of the concerts i would play you know yeah that's so funny um well okay so then now let's talk about uh because you i know you guys developed in like 2016 or so Is that we did our first other? record in 2013 so it's been 10 years yeah okay I okay know. so that's <laughs> That's okay. It's, hey, I, I get it. I, I started coaching in 2013. It's amazing to see, whoa, time flies. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. And then just if in 2020, you guys started this music academy now that you're bringing into schools. And 
how did that come about? Well, you know, um, <clears throat> a lot of us are in education and whether music education or otherwise. And when COVID happened and everyone was kind of locked in doors for a while, we had just started dabbling in animation and we had just started on this cartoon for one of our songs called A Llama's Life for Me. And once we got done with it, we were like, well, we have this technology, this know-how, wouldn't it be cool to do some like educational stuff and, and kind of apply, you know, my partner on, on the music Academy, uh, James, who is the head animator and the, the brains behind most of this, he, uh, you know, he, he learned how to do so many different things on these very sophisticated softwares and, uh, and between him doing this and me knowing how to do a bit of the editing, we started putting together these, these educational like music videos. But then we were like, Hey, let's do a little skit before. And then it turned into like a, 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 a mini series of, it's like a season of a cartoon. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've got <laughs> characters, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> we have uh, seven different characters all very different, all very hilarious in their own ways. And uh, it's, it's, it's fun. You know, it, it's like, a, it's, it's like, do you remember magic school bus? Yeah, it's I like do. Magic I love school, that. It's like magic yeah. school bus, but you know, with these, with these kind of very animated and colorful characters kind of okay. leading the charge. So, okay. So, so we're about to pivot into showing that song you just referenced, A Llama's Life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Llama's Life for me. Um, before I do, do you want to share who the characters are before or do you want to maybe talk a little bit about that after? Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the, the singer's based on myself and, and an outfit that I sometimes wear with Jelly of the Month Club. He's Charlie the Polywog. He's the captain. Uh, his right-hand man is Finn Danger, the shark with the pompadour. Um, this song is about Llama Lou. And uh, just about, um, you know, live, living a, a, a carefree life and, you know, kind of along the same ethos of what this whole show is about, is being your authentic self and, and all unapologetically so, you know. Not that, you know, you know, no one's perfect, you know, we all make mistakes and, and that's a big part of life and learning, you know. But, but I'm, I mean, you know. I think you'll see what I mean when, when it's a very much a, uh, you know, Hakuna Matata meets, um, uh, you know, uh, don't worry, be happy kind of thing. You know what I mean? I love it. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear this A Llama's Life for Me song by Jelly of the Month Club. Give me a moment here to take down a banner. Gonna throw up the song. I'll see you again soon. Here we go. Enjoy. If I wonder you meant, I'd tell you what I'd be Then no doubt about it, it's a llama's life for me I'd wear my little llama shoes and drink my llama tea Set the drama for your mama, llamas living drama free Don't you let life get you down, cause you're the cat pajamas Let your worries roll right off of your back and just say no Problem. Let's learn a lesson from the llamas And live it drama free If it's good enough for llamas Well, it's good enough for me If it's good enough for llamas Well, it's good enough for me Oh yeah! Free. If it's good enough for lovers, well, it's 
it's good enough for me. If it's good enough for Lyle's way, it's good enough for me. Oh yeah. So, I guess we're cartoons now. I guess so. Love it! I even have a tail. (laughs) (laughs) And he smells like one, too. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) That was awesome. Oh, thank you. (laughs) We have have a really fun time with these. (laughs) I, uh, I loved the kazoo. I loved the monkey. I even got, like... Yes, it's like schoolhouse rock, but also I got a little Dr. Seuss in there too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh big time. Big time. Yeah. You know, Aww. we're big on we're big on puns. Um, you know, we, before we before we ventured on this music academy uh, idea, we always, you know, it was always more about good values, you know, and 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 and, and morals, but we would slide in little bitty uh morsels of educational stuff like we have a song about pie and we have you know we have a song about uh you know fun fun facts for kids that are just a bunch of random silly fun facts and, and you mean you know. pie like like p- three one three point one four mm-hmm. awesome. and you know because of this song kids can do it to like the 26th place because wow. you know we turn it into a little rhyme and a limerick and and you know that that vehicle carries information such a long way and yeah. you know with with how uh we've had so many talented songwriters and have currently so many talented amazing songwriters working on this project and all of us are now you know trying to use everything we've learned with with crafting songs and 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 creating stuff for family entertainment and and aiming that directly at places that you know we we feel are may are, are maybe underserved you know I love that. So I want to show on screen, um, so your Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy logo. So our faces are going to be blurred, but people can still see us, uh, or covered, I mean. Mm -hmm. So everyone, look for (coughs) this logo, uh, Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy. And um, I also want to share, you guys have these three tips, and I'd love for you to speak to this. So can you still hear me, Mike? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, would you say a little bit about this? What's up on the screen? So this is a still from a uh, from the very last episode of our first course, which is called JMA uh, JMA Music One Hundred and One, and it's this is the the three values that we're trying to really remind them as as they are now embarking on their their journey with with their new knowledge, um, and that's to keep learning, and that's to you know show love and always support one another, and to always sing aloud. You know, but play with conviction, you know. I love it. I, I I love how you guys are bringing the fun, but also the educational values to everyone. Um, how did the name Mike Dangerously come about? And does that factor into, I mean, I don't know. Is, is that, do you share that with the kids? Is that, is like, I don't know. Is that. You know, what, not, not really so much um, with, with this with jelly of the month club 
I've always more of tried to uh, push and promote the characters in the songs and the characters that you know we use for that makes sense a t-shirt or or or, a, or the music videos and and for all these characters that we now have with with the jelly of the month club music academy universal we've created you know okay. um mike dangerously came about <clears throat> i was a student at musicians institute in 2005 and one of our my program was the recording artist program and and our finished our, our project, so to speak, to, to finish the course was we had to create our own CD front to back, which meant the artwork, uh, the actual recording itself, um, as and and uh, and create a website. So we were, you know, it was like a crash course on, on how to be an okay. independent artist. It was great. That's awesome. And but at the beginning of it, they were like, well, you know, you need to you know this includes choosing if you don't have a band or an artist name or you're just going to go by your own name like whatever but we need to see artwork we need to see a dot com we need to see all this well i was you know i, I was uh really just kind of using it as a placeholder so to speak i, I me and my dad favorite movie growing up and my little brother as well uh was johnny dangerously which is a gangster spoof from the 80s with Michael Keaton. Okay. And uh, it's, I mean, it's arguably the perfect movie, but that's a whole other discussion that we can have or not have later. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic uh, piece of cinematic history that will go down as just that. Um, but it's, it's this funny gangster spoof with Michael Keaton. And, you know, the whole idea is... <coughs> You know, a lot of the nicknames are usually like, it's not usually an adjective. It's it's like, you know, Mike Danger would be, you right. know, or Mike Dangerous, you know, and, and uh, like, so Johnny Dangerously is just, you know, a, a goof on, you know, what is, what is, Dangerous would be the adjective. What is Dangerously? Is that an adverb? It's an adverb, right? Yes, it's an adverb, yeah. So, so the whole joke is that, it, you know, <laughs> it's an adverb and not an adjective. And, uh, and so that's, I just always thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever <laughs> seen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so no okay. joke, I, I, wa I wanted to use that. I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll just go as Mike Dangerously for, for this project. And, and it just kind of stuck. And then, <clears throat> you know, truth be told. How long it lasted. Oh, I know, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, uh, but you know, some people who who you know are, are movie buffs like me or movie geeks more is more like it. But um, you know, they 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 appreciate the little nod to it, you know. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that's and then it just kind of stuck. And then you know, and I started playing a lot of Irish pubs, and uh, the a lot of people started calling me Mick. And then uh, I have a, a, some good friends that are in a band. They're, they're from Australia. And, so there I started calling me Mick. And so it's been Mike, it's been Mick, it's been Mickey, it's been Mikey, it's been like, you know. Oh, how funny. I, so I, <laughs> I always saw it as like Mike, like microphone. Well, that's but, the, but also a pun on your name, you know, play on your that's, name. Well, I guess it hasn't, hasn't been so obvious to some people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so I'm okay. glad it landed. I'm glad it made sense. <laughs> okay. I'm glad too. Okay. Um, okay. Let's let's get back to the music academy. Um, thank you for sharing that. I want to know, you know, because here you are bringing music into kids' lives and kids who, you know, like you said, underserved, underserved populations or communities, which could potentially mean some kids who have had very little, if any, exposure to music and that might sound far reaching to some people but it's not unheard of no you're absolutely right and people would be shocked at the extent of what you're talking about we, so uh, yeah so go ahead say, say so I, was, I was gonna say what what this cartoon that what with this music academy series and this first uh uh course is is based on is a live show that we started performing at schools we started giving away one show a month which Gosh, for a while, it started being like one show a week. Um, and we would donate, um, you know, me, one or two of the other guys, and someone that come dressed as Bigfoot uh, playing the hand drum. And we would go do uh, a quick 
eight song show, 25 minutes, and there would be songs about rhythm and it would just like getting kids clapping time or mm -hmm. songs about, um, you know, tempo or songs about, you know, note value, half notes and, and such. And, and we would get these sweet, amazing like drawings of us or nice letters from these kids. <clears throat> and uh, I recently talked with somebody about this. Uh, I, I got one note from a little girl who said she had never seen anybody play the guitar before. Wow. She said she wanted to play guitar now. She thinks, she says, I think I want to play now. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's amazing. And, yeah. and it's, it's unbelievable that she's not seen somebody play the guitar. Right. I mean, used to be a piano in every home, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And so with that whole ethos and, and with, you know, talk about underserved, especially like preschool, kindergarten, first grade, talk about the importance of first impressions. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're letting the first impressions be what they've been for forever just cause, I mean, there's, there's tons of amazing learning tools out there for, for kids. So many great ones. I could name like several off the top of my head, especially for music specifically. But for like third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, you know, maybe a little bit more advanced, but, but like, you know, not just an underserved community, but a demographic of, of kids that are five years old, six years old. How do we get them super jazzed about music immediately and want to pick up an instrument and not a, a joystick or a, you know, Xbox controller, you know, you know what I mean? And, yeah, and, uh, and so that's, that's been kind of the, the goal it with is, is making this fun. You know, all these characters are so different. Uh, all the people behind the program are come from so many different backgrounds that, that it just has so much to, for kids to sink their teeth into and, and get a real shot at getting just stoked on music at, at an early age, you know? Yeah. Well, and what's coming to mind as you're sharing that is um, I know years ago they started taking out music classes out of schools. Uh, I know they, I'm going to just divert here. They also tried taking therapists out of schools, which is a whole other topic, but I just have to acknowledge like, mm. no, we got to bring it, bring it back in, bring it back in. <laughs> no, that's um, <laughs> It's very, some very people, important. Some people, they're very similar experiences, music and therapy, you know? Okay. And so, so this is where like, I'm seeing all these things collide. So, um, so we've all, I, I, I think many of us have heard how beneficial music is to helping everyone learn better, right. And retain information. I've also heard people say the opposite of that, but I want to go with it helps because I think, I think <laughs> it helps. It helps me, I think. Um, and so, and so even just they typically talk about classical music when they talk about that. So if you think about like, okay, classical music can help a person learn, but how amazing is it when you can actually bring in music that is fun, like actually can bring more energy. And I'm, I'm not dissing the classical that has its own value, but oh my goodness, because talking about the young kids, like you're, you're referencing, you know, I think they are going to be more engaged and absorb more, be, be more open to learning. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to throw in emotions and knowing who they are and seeing, oh my gosh, there's this guy, Mike dressed up and I could be like him one day or, you know what I mean? Like be yourself, but all sure. of these things no, combined. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and, you know, the, the, uh, the idea of just getting a, as, as educators, as parents, as all of it, just getting our foot in the door. The classical and the classics and the, and the timeless music that exists, the Beethovens, the Mozarts, the Bachs, the, they will forever and will forever be revered. But some kids don't even get a chance to get there and arrive there and, and, and experience that level of sophistication in music because that's the first thing they got turned on to. It's like right. if, if you're showing, I mean, you know, a kid says, well, I want to learn, how, oh, you know, I want to learn how to be, a, a video game creator when I grow up. It's like, cool, here, learn, learn coding. And they're going to be like, oh, this, yeah, this sucks. No, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, we, there's mm -hmm. a lost opportunity, you know? So if we can relate to them and, you know, it's like, it goes back to my favorite scene. Oh, God, like top five favorite scenes ever in a movie. Mrs. Doubtfire. Robin Williams is over there and he's playing with the little 
the 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 pterodactyl and the and the uh, tyrannosaurus rex and you know he pretends to be like you know elvis and you know he's doing this little shtick and it's hilarious but he's talking about you know the he's throwing in little facts little facts here and there and the the exec is in there and he kind of pops his head he's like you know what the heck was that and he's like well you know you don't want to play dumb to kids you just want to play to them you know it's just like oh the profundity in that i mean it's it's uh there there's uh there's a sense that kids have that we don't give them credit for and and that's uh you know they they can smell a phony you know what I mean? They can't tell what they're sensing, but they don't like it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, and, and and so if we can just get our foot in the door, then we give them the opportunity to become the next Beethoven's and Mozart's. What What is helping you get your foot in the door right now? Because I know you've already been um, here. I'm going to throw a picture up on the screen again. Um, Oh shoot! I didn't upload the right picture. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload it while uh, in a moment here. But you've already been playing in schools, and um, and I know you're looking for more. Like you said, you're you know you're trying to do one a month. Um, but I know you're looking for a lot more. What's helping you get into schools so more kids can receive the benefit of what you guys have to offer? You know, we we uh we I've just kind of really started embarking on this this whole quest with with uh trying to get the actual music program landed in schools. We originally developed this as an at-home learning tool for parents to utilize for for homeschooling situations. And, uh, you know, especially among the the lockdown, you know, with, with homeschooling is still, you know, very popular, even though kids are going back to school and all that, it's still a very popular thing and, and, you know, pods and, and such. And so we originally were developing it like that. And it was because we felt we could only go to, you know, one or two, sometimes three schools a month. We've been to three schools in the same day. You know, if if we have time, we'll try and make it all happen, you know. But even doing that, we were like, why wouldn't we want to try and reach as many classrooms as we can successfully arrange getting this in front of? And because it's all digital and it's all online, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and it's all uh, already built and constructed. And by that, I mean, when you, after you watch the first lesson or whatever, you get, uh, you get to play what are called our jelly jam alongs. And with your computer keyboard, you can control a drum set or a piano or a turntable, even like all kinds of fun stuff. That's very and, cool. And so, you know, schools that maybe don't have the funding for a music program, let alone instruments, we can, we wanted to make it to where it was accessible. And while we're trying to, yes, put this as in as many places as possible, it's nice that, it, you know, we, it, it doesn't have to be cost prohibitive. And, and especially in the schools that, that really want it or need it. And we're really excited because we're heading down to San Diego in, in the middle of May to visit a school that doesn't have a music program like at all. And so not only are we going to do the show, but they're our first school that we're officially gifting the program to. Yeah. We're we're so excited. And, uh, you know, we've, we've seen, we've seen the efficiency of this first course that we've built in, in real time. You know, my, like I said, my partner teaches this exact subject matter for these exact age groups. And so, as we developed each lesson in each play along, we kind of had like this built in focus group, so to speak, yeah. to test it out in real time and see what lessons were landing, which ones weren't, what, uh, what jokes were landing, which ones weren't, you know, and, uh, and, and to really get our, our, uh, our gauge and our, our finger on the pulse, so to speak, to, uh, to take the temperature with kids today. And, and they're really smart today. Look, look at like, have you seen Sing 2? Like yeah. so, it's such a clever movie. I love that you have a school in San Diego now that you're going to be able to bring this to. And of course, the goal is many more. What is the process for, for schools if they're interested in bringing the Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy to their school? Um, what's their what's the next first step that they should take? You, you know, they're, they're, uh, the best way to go about it is to get in touch with us through our website, which is jmalearning.com. But we, we, have, we also have, of course, jellyofthemonthclub.com. But... Uh, 
and and we just figure out the, the easiest and and most efficient way to, to do it some some would uh we have the biggest uh i would say uh a, a, the larger portion of the entire program is available just for free if you just want to if kids just want to jump on and, and go and, and mess around and, and learn a little bit uh they wow. can they can play uh, i think you're able to play all the instruments but you get like the first half of the whole jma music course which um covers a good amount of stuff and it has some, you know, fun, catchy little tunes in it. Um, just cause we wanted to make all that available, you know, that's so um, generous. That's really kind. But well, the, the idea is to build several of these courses. And like I said, because we believe it's such an underfunded, under served, uh, age group, um, is by the time we get our second one up and running is to just, you know, make this one the free one, you know, and, and give it to okay. schools that want it or need it, you know, for wow. the time being, we're trying to turn it into something that can uh, sustain us to build the second one, you know, and as, as we've built the course, we were getting so fast at cranking out the lessons. I think uh, lessons six, seven, and eight, you know, uh, I think we finished those in like, you know, four or five weeks or something like that. And, and so just we're, we're really eager to, to start on building several of these because we have outlines for, I think, like eight more courses or so. Wow. OK, I want to I want to pop another quote onto the screen. Uh, this one's from Luciano Pavarotti. If children are not introduced to music at an early age, I believe something fundamental is actually being taken from them. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, truer words have not been spoken uh it, what, what uh it, it it truly is you you talked about the learning benefits from kids learning music earlier everything from language to lear to learning a language to learning their primary language to secondary languages to third languages to mathematics is enriched and and enhanced by learning music at an early age so on a on a <clears throat> objective and fundamental and measurable <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> pardon me it's okay you've been performing a lot we <laughs> i have been and i've been you know I, I have another weekend of shows so i've been this herbal tea just non-stop and right before like i said like someone went down the wrong tube and i was like oh great that happened oh. once before on a radio interview and i spent the whole time like <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> uh, okay. <clears throat> so uh, so not only not only has so let me take that again <laughs> um with music being proven to help with language skills with math skills there's a measurable and objective uh, um leg up that kids get by learning music and then ask pretty much anyone with a pulse think of what music has meant to you at any given time in yeah. your life from zero to everything and and then and then you're you're taking that also from them like it I, I mean it, to me it's so so i I grew up with singing lessons and doing a lot of that in theater and stuff like that. So to me, I would also add that it's um, bringing music into a kid's life is helps them with self-expression, helps them with owning more of who they are, oh, helps them with moving through you know any problems or any, any issues, things going on in their personal life through learning how to express yourself. It doesn't matter if you didn't write the song, singing someone else's song allows you to use your voice. Singing the national anthem, even. yeah, yeah. anything. I mean, yeah, to your point, I mean, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And and it's and it comes down to building character and confidence. There we go. Hello. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the show and I um but we have more to share so I want to just kind of squeeze that in. Sure, I don't sure. I don't I don't have the photo that I thought I had, but I do have some other photos I want to showcase of Mike's been performing at Knott's Berry Farm lately. For those in who are not in Southern California, that is uh, an amusement park here in Southern California. And just some fun photos. I freaking love these mics. <laughs> <laughs> you and, and Charlie Brown, right? That's me and my buddy, Charlie Brown. And then we've got this other fun one. I love the action and you freaking get high on, on those jumps. You know, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it until my knees tell me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Awesome. Okay. So Mike, we have one more song that we're going to share with everybody. And this is one of the songs that you've, um, uh, this is showcasing the band as, as real people, not cartoons performing at a school. So I'm uh, going to show this video. And are there any words you'd like to share about this one? This, what is this one called again? This you- is, you know, this is a great example of, you know, b- before we put our sights on education, this, this band has really just been about good old fashioned fun bringing families together uh, uh, with entertainment that everybody can enjoy and, and laugh at. Okay. Uh, this song is, is just about utter ridiculousness and, and uh, making this monster of a sandwich. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we will see you all here again when this is done. Uh, here we go. Jelly fish sandwich, which I will share with you. We can cut it all up, so we each get a piece. Now it's a meal for two. What's mine is yours, what's yours is mine. So for the pleasure of your company, may I offer you some vino for the jelly fish sandwich? Jellyfish sandwich, part sandwich and part fish. And when you add a little spinach to the sandwich, now he's got a Popeye big twist. I got a peanut spinach, jelly sardine, cocoa mix, multi chop, triple layered sandwich for the kids. And I wonder what it'd be like if I added another layer to the mix. Share some more. We can cut it all up so we each get a piece. And now it's a meal for four. The more you give, the more you get. So for the pleasure of your company, may I offer you some peanut butter jelly fish sandwich? Jellyfish concoction with a Benedict sauce and a balsamic reduction on my peanut butter jellyfish sandwich. Saturated in wine from a jellyfish's fine with peanut special butter that I got from across town. Now here is a generous amount for all of you clowns. Cut it up, split it up, and pass it all around. Jellyfish sandwich, and we share with everyone. We can cut it all up so we each get a piece, cause sharing is so much fun. The more you give, the more you get, so for the pleasure of your company, may I offer you some peanut butter jellyfish sandwich? Sandwiches, bless it, be the four thousand jellyfish handlers, bless it, be the thirty five hundred cocoa mix stirrers, bless it, be the three thousand Nestle cake distributors, bless it, be the cherries and the lima beans, too, bless it, be the hummus and the whipped cream, fool, bless it, be the two thousand multi layer display peanut butter jellyfish, and we call it what's on the glasses of lemonade. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Yeah, it was it was a little long, but it was fun to watch all of that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, there's a long credit sequence on this one. I, <laughs> I saw that. And I was like, oh, at what point do we? End oh, here? that's that's um, okay. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a silly song about about the importance of sharing, you know, and uh, and we have some very pious men in the band as well. So a little bit of, uh, you know, just more good moral teachings. You know what I mean? Well, well, being silly. <laughs> yeah, and and I, you know, I don't know. This is coming to mind, so I'm just going to share it. Like it's it's also very obvious how educated you are, and it sounds like your bandmates are, and so. I just want to highlight that for any school who's considering bringing Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy to their school. Like, this isn't some frivolous, like, oh, just some adults, you know, playing music, having fun. These are smart guys. Oh, who, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, Dr. Todd has his master's in education. He's a Harvard grad, taught at USC. Uh, Scotty, our drummer, is a professor at MI for 15 years. Um, you know, I've, I've, I'm the least uh, experienced uh, educator you know, but I've been in entertainment for a long time. So <laughs> no, you, you have, you have a lot and, and, and just caveat, not, not in any way downplaying those who don't have that educational background, but I just have to highlight, like, there's a lot of value with what you guys are bringing to these schools. It's, it's the music, it's the fun, it's the playfulness, and it's also the wisdom. It's, um, there's an element of you guys are, are have the, you're potentially mentors for these kids as you show up in these roles at their schools. Uh, that's huge. That is really huge. So, um, and positive mentors. And I think a lot of people in schools um, can, you know, would just absolutely love to bring in positive. I'm going to throw in one more positive male mentors to their school and what the children are exposed to. That is, <sighs> That is very valuable, Mike. So um, I hope people see that. That's what I wanted to add. That's very kind of you to say. And, and you know, th we're 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 really trying to to do our best here. You know, and and and, yeah. uh, and really make an offering, and not yeah. just be goofballs. We've been goofballs for so long. You know, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So you it, you do it really well, and some people <laughs> need need that to help them be able to open up too. But yeah, you're absolutely adding so much more to that. So. Mike, thank you so much for being here today. I love that we got to, of course, showcase some of your videos and um, and talk about, you know, how you got into this and all that you're doing. Are there any final words you'd like to share with everyone before we we close the show? You know, uh, only that we 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 are all very passionate about what we do with this project, with with the band, with the music academy, and the reason. There are among many is is I know what music meant to me as a kid. And to think that I get to take part in that tradition means a lot to me and, and a charge that we all take very seriously. And uh so so it's 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 something that, that we love and, and we plan to do more and more of, you know. So uh so we, we hope we hope that uh we hope to keep doing it for, for many years to come. Love it. Well, I totally see that as a possibility. You've already got a lot of wonderful momentum. So I'm wishing you guys so much success and all the best. And um, again, thank you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and just throw you back down into the lobby and I'll see you there in a moment while I close out the show. Sounds great. It's been great being on your show. Thank you everyone for listening and thank you for having me on, Kim. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Oh my goodness. What are you taking away from today's conversation? Hearing about the Jelly of the Month Club Music Academy, Mike and his experiences and background, and what is this potentially inspired in you? Do you have a child who goes to school who maybe doesn't have a you know music course program at their school, and maybe this could be a really nice addition to your school. You as the parent, uh, you know, shoot, I'm thinking of a previous show we just did with Cheryl Jennings. We talked all about how parents, you are the experts on, you know, your children and their lives. And when you see a need, you absolutely have every right to speak up and do something about that. And so I just want to put that out there because I know schools, they're doing amazing jobs on their own and they are also incredibly overworked and overwhelmed, right? As a parent, if you see that something like this could add value to your child's school, you know, feel free to go ahead and bring it up, suggest it. Um, 
there was something else I wanted to say and it walked away. So I guess I'll just have to let that go. Let me know what you're taking away from today's show, whether you watch this on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, any of the podcast platforms. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you're taking away. Remember that every day is always a new day. And I want to remind you also, you can find out more about the Music Academy by going to jmalearning.com, jmalearning.com. And, uh, you know, even if your school already has a music program, but maybe you just want to add some fun, bringing in the band, at, you know, to do some performances. How fun is that? I, that was always fun, having guest speakers or guest performances when you're a kid in school. So check it out. Think about it. Have an amazing day. Know how amazing that you are being your true authentic self, showing up as, I'm going to use Mike as an example, showing up as the playful, silly, goofy, fun, fun person character that you want to be. And as your wise, grounded, very intentional, purpose-driven self, you get to be all of it. Have an amazing day. I'm going to close up the show. I'll see you all again very, very soon.